This is probably the biggest text video AI update in text video history. OpenAI have released Sora. At first when I saw this, I actually couldn't believe what I was seeing. Essentially, they've created the best text video AI model that we've ever seen. This one is so significant because compared to everything else, this fundamentally is going to change how everybody creates video from Hollywood to advertisements to creators. This just changes everything content on the internet is going to change forever so this is probably the biggest AI text to video update in history. If you haven't seen it already on Sora that has just been released they've given some demos of what we can expect so all you have to do is give it the text and it's able to create entire videos based off of that. So the first thing we can see here was the first thing that I saw. When I saw this video I thought that perhaps this could have been something from a video game but this is actually a video that was created based on this text. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights many pedestrians walk about. This is basically what came up. Incredibly detailed, so just mind-blowing from the language to the characters to the street to the reflections to the sunglasses the lipstick the hair everything just seems so cohesive it's just like what you would imagine you would expect to see from a video game when i first saw this like my mouth just dropped to the ground because we've never seen anything like this in history like this is so unique in the sense of what this actually implies next we have several giant woolly mammoths approaching treading through snowy meadow their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk. Snow covered trees and dramatic snow capped mountains in the distance. Mid afternoon light with wispy clouds and a sun high in the distance creates a warm glow. The low camera vision is stunning capturing the large fairy mammal. Beautiful photography and depth of field. Obviously now mammoths are extinct but the ability to capture this in the snowy meadows you know as it tramples over the, the, the snow and this is what I mean again when I say things about how realistic this feels just how strong and cinematic this feels this could be a still from a documentary this could be a still from a movie the possibilities but this is just so endless and it's just crazy to think that not that long ago it was barely impossible to even create a cohesive image based off of text now in just the span of maybe one to two years you can create an entire video based off of text and this is the one that i think scares a lot of people which is the movie trailer a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet blue sky salt desert cinematic style shot on 35 millimeter film vivid colors and as you can see this is almost like a real movie it's like something that you would actually find in a trailer the use of the people's faces looking so realistic and it just captures everything so well so it's just another way of saying what the uses can be with something like this you're able to capture things in such vivid details that it just comes across as being really realistic and imagining that wow this could actually be trailer for something much longer like a full feature film now if we looked at this one this is a prompt showing the drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliff along Big Sur's Grey Point Beach. This looks like something that you would maybe find on YouTube. You type in Big Sur 4K aerial drone and this is what would come up. In fact, if you were to show this to, I'd say, most people on the earth right now and say, you know, what do you think this is? Most people would say, oh, this is just a normal drone video. You know, there's nothing really spectacular about it. But once you can realize that this is purely just based off of a prompt here, it's able to really give it a whole new meaning of saying, well, this just looks like exactly what you expect. The waves crashing, how they actually interact with the rocks, how the rocks look, the, the static feel of the rocks how the sun shines and the shadow that hits. These are all the things that you just think of immediately. This is a step forward to potentially getting rid of the animation studios, which is a very interesting idea in, it, in and of itself um, with how these animation studios have run for, for so many years. But doing a few seconds like this collectively over, you know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, become something like a full feature film. 
Now this is an interesting one because it's a rendered paper craft world of coral reef with fish and, and sea creatures. This is obviously not real. It's, you know, based off of coral reef and you've taken that and turned it into something fantasy like. So an actual coral reef that's been transformed into paper craft world of, you know, paper and stuff. So again, just the use cases and the different ways that it can be used. I mean, if you're not like absolutely just blown away by how insane how incredible this is that i think you're like not really taking grasp of just the the impact that this is going to have it's just going to be huge so here we have this close-up shot of a victoria crown pigeon again something maybe you would shoot with your iphone it's almost shot like a, a vertical iphone photo obviously this is you know not not a real bird but again, the, the movement of this bird, how it's able to move its head, how it uh, moves the feathers with, with the, the actual movement out of the feathers, keeping the focus on the bird amidst the background. So all, all of these specific details that, you know, really come out when you pay attention to these things, because all of this has to be, you know, like thought out in terms of how like this is going to look. And so I think this one is a huge one because now we're seeing someone who's sitting and reading, right? Understanding the concept that he's, you know, sitting on a cloud reading a book is huge. And essentially they just go into more and more examples of what it's able to create and some different examples. But I highly recommend that you go and check this page out and see for yourself what is being created and why this is so game-changing. This historical footage of California during the gold rush, you know, and just like the different use cases that can be used from this, which is like so immense and has such huge, you know, effects on how everyone will be getting used to creating video and what that actually will look like going forward, which I think is going to be huge. You know, again, when I say like the animation, this is something that's going to change the idea of like what an animation studio is, what it looks like, how it works. And it's going to be very difficult to decipher what is real from what is not real because it's starting to look so photorealistic in the sense of how will you know that this is actually a video or if it's actually a fantasy or those type of matters which are going to become hugely important again. So like i think this is one of the biggest drops that we've ever seen and i think the consequences are massive you know it's just a whole new it opens a whole new door of like possibilities what we can expect for the future so you know it just depends on the way that we work with it and i mean this one just blew me away the reflections in the widow of a train you know the ability to if you watch this part where her face just gets covered by the shadow as she's in the train and then you see the buildings again. I mean, that is just unbelievably incredible. Like understanding how something like a shadow with the reflection would cause a darker, you know, the darkness to have the reflection again on the glass window. So there's just so many examples and time and time again, it's just really game changing. And I really recommend that check this out and see what you think about this. This is only available for a few people to test at the moment. And I think one of the things that they were stressing was the safety aspect. But once this gets released out to the public, this is really going to be a huge game changer. And, you know, for good or for bad, this is really going to fundamentally change how videos and content is made and what we think of that. So that's just what I think of Sora. Again, I'm saying everyone should go check this out. Look at this page. I mean, look at how people will be creating full feature films just of prompts and what we can expect with that.